In this video, I'll be showing how we can use VBA programming in Microsoft Excel 2010 to create a brand new worksheet inside your work, your workbook and also rename that worksheet to whatever name of, uh, of your preference. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things I'm going to do is go to my, my drawing tools. It's going to be under insert, shape, and rectangle. I'm just going to add that. That's going to be my command button. Right click it edit text. It's going to put in create new sheet. And this is what I was referring to. The drawing tools up here when you have the shape selected. I'm going to go to my beveled options. That way we have the appearance of a button. And I'm going to go to my developer tab, record macro, just do create new sheet. Now I'm going to have the macro recorder help me out a little bit. I'm going to select the new sheet button. I'm going to right click it, rename, and let's just call this test sheet. And I'm going to do stop recording, go to macros, and then create new sheet. I'm going to click edit. And we can see some codes already been placed in here for us. So what we're going to keep, we do we want to keep sheets.add and then after, and it's going to be sheets. Um, she's that count and here is where we're going to modify the data we're not going to we're going to change we're going to take this off sheets sheet four dot select we don't really care about selecting it because the moment that you add it that sheet is already going to be selected sheets and then sheet four this is what we're going to change instead of doing sheet four because that's not always going to be the case when adding a new sheet it won't always say sheet four we're going to do active sheet dot name Active sheet name is going to return the name of the sheet that was created, and then we're gonna we're gonna rename it dot name equals test sheet. And let me show you an issue that we might run into when we, when we run this macro because test sheet already exists. If we were to run the macro, macro we're gonna get an error. Cannot rename a sheet. So we're gonna go on and hit end. If we were to delete the test sheet and then rerun the macro we'll see that it, that it works just fine now to get ourselves out of this problem go to your macros and hit edit what we're going to want to do is search to see if the name of that sheet exists so we're going to create a statement to, to go through all the worksheets And it's going to be the worksheet count minus one because the index starts with zero, if I recall correctly. I'm just going to I'm going to double check this code right now. I'm going to do message box, and I'm going to do sheets, and then rep, which is the index number. As this is a for statement, in case you're not familiar with a with a for statement, and all it's doing is saying it's going to go from zero to whatever number this is right here each time that the rep goes through the rep count is changed so the first time around will be zero then it'll be one then two all the way until it reaches the worksheet the count of the worksheets minus one and I'm gonna do exit sub just so I can test this code out I'm gonna go to macro and I'm gonna run it and we had an error so this should actually be a one and I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna play the code again telling me object doesn't support this property or method so let me see if I'm doing something wrong I should have put dot name so it actually might be zero I'm gonna start over play this code again I was telling us that the it's out of range let me change the rep to a one and run it so we have sheet one sheet two sheet three sheet five and we didn't get test sheet so let's get rid of the minus one I was under the impression that the index would start with a zero but it starts with a one so it's gonna be from one to the amount of worksheets that are inside the workbook so if we play that code again we're gonna get sheet one sheet two sheet three sheet five and then test sheet so what we wanna do is is look to see if the name of the sheet that we're gonna create already exists so we're gonna do sheet name to create equals and then test sheet and then we're just going to replace the test sheet 
to the variable name, sheet name to create. And this is what we want to do. If sheet rep dot name equals sheet name to create, then exit sub. Just pretty much don't do anything. Because we don't want to make it case sensitive, I'm going to put L case sheets rep dot name compared to L case sheets name to create. So it's just pretty pretty much putting both values into lowercase. If for any reason they're identical, we're just going to exit sub. We won't do anything. We can even notify the user. Message box. This sheet already exists. And then exit sub and if. Now let's try this code out. Right now, because the sheet name does exist, it should tell us. I'm going to run it. it. says this sheet already exists and it's doing nothing. Just to test it out again, I'm going to del delete that. And we're going to run the macro. And here we go, we got the test sheet. If we run it again, it says the sheet already exists. So let's take it one step further. Go back to sheet one where we added the button. I'm going to use F3 as a place where the user can enter in a sheet name. So I'm going to type in home. Here I'm going to do right click on the on the picture and what I'm gonna do I need to click out of again and right click it we're gonna do assign macro and I'm gonna assign the create new sheet macro and hit OK now I will have to modify the macro though so I'm gonna click the macro and hit edit sheet name to create this is gonna be changed to sheet one dot range and then we're gonna do F3 F3 Dot value. So let's just go on and try this code out and see if it works. A new workbook was added and the home tab was added. If we were to go back and play the code again, we get an error that the sheet already exists. All right, guys, that concludes this video on creating a new worksheet. And I guess I added that extra step in checking to see if that sheet name already exists. And if it does, we'll give the user an error. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.